Mm. Hello guys and welcome back. As you know, my name is Javier and today we get to do some awesome stuff. Actually, no. On my last video, I met some wonderful ladies. They were DIYing, they were hacking the day-to-day -day shorts they have, like washing clothes, like the showers and everything. If you haven't seen that video, just do it because it will put in context what we're going to do today. For this time, we're doing something bigger. And by bigger, I mean a bigger capacity on batteries and we are going to try to interconnect their house. But first, just let me show you what I have on my hands. And I'm going to take you through the whole process of what I do. This time, I hope I don't cut that much. So let me just give you a little montage of the things that I'm going to take with me, okay? Let's go. So basically, what we have for today, it's the same uh, UPS that Yahoo made uh, and turned it into a solar generator. But the only difference is that we are adding two extra packs. Why am I doing this? Very simple. Four packs, it's equivalent to 700 and some uh, watt hours on storage. Adding two extra, it will round everything up uh, probably close to one kilowatt hour of capacity. The reason that I'm going to do this is that these ladies are less likely to have power anytime soon. So basically, we just add in uh, probably 200 and something, 300 extra watt hours to make sure they have enough power for the fridge to run it uh, more than 12 hours a day. And also, I want to make sure that they get to do some extra stuff like... Uh, and they want to watch TV, of course. The, they are three ladies, which are two sisters, one mother. They got the little kid, and they also have the nephew. So I want to make sure they they get as much as uh, a normal life as possible. And also because on the first video, we got some people that actually donated uh, specifically for this project. So that's why we are going to do this. It's, so to fix the problem that we have, when it comes to the storage of the batteries, it looks like we are going shopping. So let me just change my clothes and I'll meet you in the aisle of Home Depot. Okay, let's go. This is going to be my battery case or pack. 
basically it's just your typical container. My cables are going to be interconnected between each other and I'm just going to connect that to the charge controller of this little baby. I know it's not that elegant and it's not that portable but it's going to be more than enough for what we need right now. And also we can use the top part of this case to put the cords and tension cords and anything that is related to this project. So I know it's not the most super DIY project, but it works, you know. We want to make sure that it's not too big or too difficult to move. Actually, I'm, I think there's about 40 pounds over here. And this type of uh, systems are not supposed to be moving around. So, but yeah, I still have enough space to add more batteries in the future so yeah it's just a simple hack we still have everything we still have enough space inside and we have another cable that goes inside the system that actually allows us to get more batteries so we got potentially one kilowatt hour capacity on this system and it's supposed to be i think it's going to help them a lot so now we just need to go to Arecibo and install it, so I'll see you there.